Welcome back. So, this is assignment time. Why? Because this particular trail is very familiar. We have done this before. So, let's take this opportunity to test your knowledge. I want you to go through this trail, this particular um, simple trail. Please read it through and then do the challenge. So actually when you are going to follow these steps, it's a very clear steps. It's actually the challenge that you will be doing. So at the bottom of this trail, when you're done, the challenge is to actually follow along these instructions. Okay? Because we have done this in the previous trail, the admin beginner one, this would be a good time for an assignment or a simple little test to see if you understand about objects, um, custom fields, custom tab. All right. So it's a very simple one, but please go on ahead without following this video on how to actually do this. Okay, so please right now pause the video and do this yourself. Then if you're stuck, but you shouldn't be because it's very simple, very easy. And you can, if you're stuck, you can unpause or resume the video and see how it's done. All right, so go ahead and press the pause button and do this on your own. Okay, so now let's continue on how to do these simple steps um, together. I hope you've done this before without having to actually watch this part. But if you are curious and you're stuck somehow, this is how we're going to do it. Okay, first we're going to launch it, the trailhead. And then we're going to follow along. First of all, we want to create a new custom object. A new custom object with the name Energy Audit. Okay, Energy Audit, the tab style is the sun. Tab for the Energy Audit object, okay? Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Do you remember where to create custom objects? Go to the gear icon and set up and then object manager there. This is where we create custom objects. Now I'm going to create here a new custom object. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Start with a vowel sound. And do we want to put a description? No. Because we want to create a new tab afterwards, I'm going to check this box. Let me see the data type. This is important. Record name. Do we want an auto number or a text? Let's see. On here. The guide didn't mention it. So it doesn't really matter, I think. So we want to allow the search there. Okay. Allow the search. And hit on save. Now we are going to create the tab for it and we're going to pick the sun as the icon. Sun would be, where is it? Can you help me out? I see a star, a sun. There you go. 
and then we want to put some description on the tab it says tab for energy audit object all right okay next I'm just gonna leave everything as is probably see it doesn't have an instruction so what is this for again if you remember from our previous trails I mentioned these are the profiles of who can see this object for example if it's in a school we might have the principal and teachers we have substitute teachers we have students we have maybe cleaners janitors we have administrative workers admin or and and so on and so forth can they see this new object or not so you can choose on off or even hide this tab from those particular users okay so right now we're gonna leave it as it is now Do we want to include this tab in here? Sure, why not? Save. All right, so we have created the object and the tab. That was easy, right? So let's continue. Now we want to create the custom fields, okay? We want to create a pick list and type of installation and the value of it is rooftop carport and ground mounted right so let's create that do you remember when we create this about the student and teacher or about the pets that joshua was creating so it's the same thing we want to create a pick list so people or users can pick it and these are the available values to pick from all right so let's go ahead Fields and relationships are here. And then we want to create new. And then we want to pick, pick list. <clears throat> Type of installation. Enter value. Rooftop. carport ground mounted okay and then use the first value as the default value and restrict pick list to the values defined here if we don't check this what would happen for example, some other um, data entry is using the Salesforce API, which is out of the scope of this trail, and they enter another value. If we don't restrict it, it's going to allow it. So for example, it says tile installation or other things. If we restrict it, it will restrict just to these three values and will not allow any other value, okay? So, do we want to make this required? No. Let's just save this. I'm going to make everything visible. Any, everybody and anybody can see it and save. So, we have created the custom field right so we want to capture more information all right um, let's see here so this is what we need to create okay this whole thing here so let's create it together first of all we want to make an account which is a lookup relationship to the account that's gonna be easy so new it says lookup relationship 
So we can pick which account it belongs to related to what account, right? Next. Field name is account as well. And we are going to keep everything as it is. Make visible. And save and new. So the next one is currency. So the label uh, the label is average annual electric cost. 16 two decimal and there is a help task data. Okay. Oh, we forgot to always require a value for the account. Let's fix that. So if we forgot something we have to fix it. So I'm going to go back here, fields and relationships, go back to the account here and add it and make it required there. Checkbox. Okay. Save. Okay. Now new a currency. and where it says average annual electric cost i'm going to copy that sixteen is the length of the numbers we can put in and two decimal places like this this is the sixteen part this is it can go as long as sixteen digits here and two decimals like that right and it has some help task help text is this annual cost per square foot all right and it's not required so i'm going to hit next next and save and new Next is annual energy usage kilowatt hour, KWH, and it's a number. Same thing again, it's a number. Next, paste that in. Is it 16 and 2 again? It doesn't mention, right? So I'm just going to leave it as it is, All right? next next save and new and then we have the last one which is a text area long remember there is a text area and text area long what is the difference it's how many how many characters or how many letters or words you can put into this field text area long you can put lots of text inside it, right? Text area only allows 255 characters or letters into the field. Text area long. <clears throat> Paste this audit notes. Visible lines is five. Like how many visible lines? Like this one. One, two, three, right? three lines one two three if it's five lines the box is going to be a bit larger like this oops we can drag this see and be like that like let's see one two three four five yeah this would be five lines so the size would be like this instead of this which is three lines you got it five lines all right that's pretty much it. Let's go next. Next. Make it all visible. Next. And save. All right. That's, that's it. Now we can start creating the record. So we can add records from following these steps. Okay. From setup, click the this icon. And then all items. Uh, energy audit and new right all right so let's start by clicking the icons on the top left corner here click on that and then you can type for energy 
out it okay click on this so that will bring up the energy audit records and we don't have any yet so we'll make some new ones okay as instructed over here so first name is our first audit name is Burlington evaluation what is the installation is rooftop and then 186 and 23 try to remember that okay rooftop 126 and 83 kilowatt hour and the account is Burlington Textile Corp of America so if you search Burlington it'll add it like that so we don't have notes for now but instead of hitting save you want to hit save and new here right why because we are going to enter a few more records one two three more records okay so i'm gonna bring this tab onto my other monitor screen so i can do this quicker and not going back and forth like tab from tab like that which is very annoying right so let's continue save and new This is the second one and it's a carport. The account is University of Arizona and 2.19 30 kilowatt hours. All right, save and new. Third one is Gene Point five year review. It's a rooftop gin point 156 21 kilowatt hour last one is Salesforce Los Altos Hills campus ground mounted as force there and one seven seven twenty five all right so I'm gonna save this so if you don't have an account here you can create a new one so for example you try to type as force and it's not coming up hit new account and you can just type as force there okay so since we already have one we're gonna use that and save so that's pretty much it I'm gonna put this back so we can see this together I just entered these three new records and nice job we'll put those into use shortly so that's the challenge we just did which is just following those instructions and steps and check challenge to earn 500 points you should already be uh, be getting the 500 points by now hopefully you will you were able to do the challenge on your own i think we we got the points right Because I have done that before, yeah. See, 2,950 points. Yeah. So, since I have already taken the challenge previously, it doesn't give you the the stars and, sh and, and, and uh, you know, the confetti stuff. But that's it. And good job, and I'll see you on the next trail.